So it's your first day in Bangkok. You just got off the plane and you need to get yourself set up. You need a SIM card. You need a BTS card to get around the metro system. You even want to know if you're allowed to open up a bank account. And of course, you want to try some delicious food. It's Bangkok after all. Well, this is the video for you. This is the Bangkok Starter Kit. Hello out there world, my name's Chris. I'm retired working for you. And the reason that we need a Bangkok starter kit today is because I'm here with my nephew, Adam. What's up guys? He's on a tour, so you just tell them what you're doing here. Yeah, just came to Thailand for a few months on the tourist visa and then hoping to extend that. Uh, we'll see, but yeah, for now, just here checking out Thailand and uh, enjoying the, the winter away from the cold. This is his first Monday on the streets of Bangkok. We woke up this morning and he asked me uh, if I could help him arrange and get a few things. Uh, what are you looking to get done? Bank account, metro card, SIM card. All right, well, uh, let's start with the most challenging one. I don't know if he's going to be able to get a bank account on a tourist visa. I don't know if he knows. Um, but I'm here. I'm going to take him right now into the yellow bank. Uh, that's what I call it. I think it's called the Krung Sri Bank. We're going to see if you can or cannot get a bank account on a tourist visa. And we're all about to find out together. He knows our channel. He's a fan. Are you a subscriber? All right. Um, I'm looking to open uh, a checking account. Is this possible? She's now asking him if he has a rental contract because he's on a tourist visa. Permanent? No. It can't open? Uh, okay, no problem. Thank you. Well, as uh, Chris predicted, that didn't work. But it's worth a try, I think. So it is what it is. Yes, my man. So that was a quick uh, no. No, sir. No, Adam. You cannot open a bank account. And why did they say? You can't open one on a tourist visa, but you have to have a long-term condo rental, which I don't have because I'm not here long-term. So, yeah, yeah. They, they said it had to be a 12-month uh, lease. If he was able to show them his name on a 12-month lease, they would have opened him a bank account even on a tourist visa. So then what are you going to do, Adam? What's your solution? Y'all just use my Canadian debit and credit cards over here. That shouldn't be a problem, right? No, you can use uh, all Western banks over here. I guess you just wanted to avoid... We're going to get hit. I guess you just wanted to avoid the fees, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, well, at least you guys know so you won't waste your time. So what's next? Where to? Yeah, I've seen this this famous pad crepel lady in your videos. Can, can we go there? It looks mighty delicious. Oh, I'll visit my pad crepel lady anytime, any day. Let's do it. Let's go. Mark Weens on that stuff. He loaded it up with chilies. Mmm. Oh, you full Mark Weens. So good. He even so did good. the Mark Weens. Mmm. It's hot. <laughs> so this pad crepau normally comes with one of those eggs with the soft yolk. I like to get it at this place. They put this tofu in it. Oops. And then I also put this fried basil on top that they have as a garnish, along with the crispy little garlic bits. It's awesome. As you can see, pretty damn good. <laughs> really, really good. And how much did it cost? 50 baht, 10 baht. So two bucks for all of this. It, it, it's shocking. This is impossible to get it where I come from. It's it's amazing though. Did it meet your expectations? It exceeded. It exceeded. Far past. It's awesome. All right, cool. Well, what do you want to do now? What's next on your starter kit hit list? Let's go get a SIM card, man. I don't. I don't have any data. I can't access the internet, social media, nothing. I can't even text. So let's go get a SIM card. That's what I need. A SIM card. I think this young man might want to hook up Tinder or something like that. Anyways, we'll get you a SIM card, Adam. But first, 
you need to get yourself a BTS card, Adam. The BTS is the most convenient way to get around Bangkok. It's the Sky Train. This line is the main line. It runs above Sukhumvit. There's several lines and it's growing like crazy. The metro system here, it's nice, it's air conditioned. You can buy one-off tickets like she's doing over there. You can just buy one-off, one-way tickets. But if you're gonna be here for any length of time like Adam is, you're gonna wanna go over to this booth here. You're gonna need your passport and you're gonna wanna buy I don't know, 500 baht, a few hundred baht, maybe a thousand baht. They'll charge you a little fee for the rabbit card that they give you. And then you can just uh, keep it in your pocket, keep it in your wallet, punch in and punch out whenever you want to get around town. BTS card is acquired. It was 100 baht. I loaded 800 usable bot on. Well, I'll tell you, Adam, that 100 bot fee for the card might seem like a lot, but you can use this rabbit card. Show them the rabbit card. You can use the rabbit card for more than just the BTS. Check this out. You can also use the rabbit cards in most Bangkok food courts. You can use it to pay for food and other stuff. So it's a handy card. You should definitely have one in your wallet. Okay, good to know. Now let's go get you a SIM card. So we're here now on the well, sixth well, hold, floor. Hold, 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 hold on, Chris. Hold on us just a second. This retired Forky for you life is ridiculous. Not retired at all. Like, can I get a drink, a Thai tea or something? Oh, you want to get a Thai tea? Yes, yeah, something. All right, yeah. we're, we're putting them through the grinder today here on Retired Working For You. This is what we do for these people. We work hard to get oh, them man. information, Adam. All right, man. I'll get you a Thai tea. Ah, so tasty. Okay, I'm good now. Tell me about the SIM card. Well, now I'm thirsty, man. <laughs> and my favorite caffeinated beverages are way back at this little cafe that's in the middle of that market where we got the pad for pow. Do you mind if I just run up there? I'm gonna go get one. Whoa, okay. Excuse me, can I get one flat white? All right. One flat white? Right. My nephew's back at Terminal 21. Can you go quickly? Yeah. All right, thank you. So this is the best place to get a flat white. We're back in the market. While Adam's waiting, I should tell you, for only 50 Thai baht, you can get the most delicious flat white, in my opinion, in all of Bangkok, right here. The master. Got my flat white, better go get Adam. Oh, sorry about that, Adam. Uh, I needed to get this in me. It was a quick coffee run. We're uh, about to get a SIM card set up for you. Yeah. Why don't we do it like this? Why don't you go into the shop over here behind us? And uh, while you're in there, you can figure out what your options are on your tourist visa, and then you can tell everyone. And in the meantime, I'll just tell them you know the general options here in Thailand and uh, where the best place to go shopping is. Yeah, sounds like a plan. All right, cool. cool. Any shopping mall in Bangkok is going to have a floor dedicated to electronics and that's where you'll find all of the cell phone providers. This is the sixth floor here at Terminal 21 and all of them are here so you can shop around. The main options are True, which I like to call the red one. There's the blue one, which is the DTAC center. And the one I use is called AIS, which I like to call the green one. They're all probably pretty much the same. Everyone has an opinion as to which one's better. But uh, where I'm from, there's Rogers, there's Telus, there's Bell. Where in the States, there's Verizon and AT&T. Where you're from, there's probably two or three big options. Same here. I think they're all very similar. Adam's in the green one because I use the green one and he's working out his deal. What are my options for postpaid? What, what are some good brands? No matter which of the companies you decide to go with, I'd highly recommend getting an unlimited data plan. The deals here are pretty good and you can either go prepaid or get a normal contract. Although I'm not sure if you can do that with a tourist visa. Let's check in with Adam and see. Okay, see you, thank you. Bye. All right, so uh, tell us what plan did you end up getting in there, man? I got a plan that's 1100 baht a month. It's unlimited data at a pretty good speed, too. I'm impressed. I mean, the same plan back home in Canada where I'm from would be like 125, 130 bucks a month. And this is 30 here. So yeah. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, the deals are good. So was that like on a prepaid thing? Like, what's the deal? Because you're on a tourist visa. Is that a monthly contract? Yeah, so it's, it's postpaid. So pay at the end of every month. 
and it's only a three month commitment, which again, it's even better because back home, the same plane, you'd have to commit for two years. So it'll take me to the end of the, the first leg of my tourist visa and see where I'm at from there. Uh, is there anything else you need to do in the Bangkok starter kit? Uh, I could use a hard drive to back up my computer. Uh, do, you, do you know a spot for that? Oh, my favorite, one of my favorite shopping malls is actually called Fortune Town. Okay. It's this, uh, well, let's go there and see. We actually have to hop on the subway to get there. Oh, perfect. We got the BTS car, so be good to go. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> His BTS card doesn't work down here. We're going down to the subway. The BTS card is to go up to the Sky Train. So this is called the MRT. This is the MRT Blue Line. And unfortunately in Bangkok, you need to get a different card to get on the BTS, which is the Sky Train, and an MRT down here. So you gotta carry two cards around if you wanna ride both of them around. Hey Bangkok, here's a suggestion, get a unified Metro card. Yeah, I tried to get a student deal, but it's only for Thai students, so it doesn't work for me. So no matter whether you use the BTS or the MRT, both systems, you scan the cards when you go in and when you go out, and it'll tell you how much was left. Different uh, lengths of trips cost different amounts of money. We're going on the MRT for two stops. We'll see how much Adam got on his card, and I'll tell you how much a two-stop ride costs. So 400 baht on here to start. We'll see how much we have at the end when we get off the line. Nineteen baht to go two station stops, so less than a dollar. Pretty good. We're coming to Fortune Town, which is an amazing building full of electronics, cameras, fun little gadgets. Adam's gonna go in and get a hard drive. All right, man, mission accomplished. We covered a lot of ground today. Yeah, thanks for taking me around. It feels so good to get all that stuff done. Yeah, cool, man. I hope they enjoyed it. I do have one more thing to tell all of them, so I'm gonna run, man. Okay, cool. I'll Catch you, see you later. Soon. Yeah, peace. Cheers. All right, we're back where we started the day, and I didn't want to say it in front of Adam, but I'm pretty tired. We covered a lot of ground. We got a lot done, but I know what you're thinking. What's he gonna do about a place to live? The number one question I get on this channel is, hey Chris, tell me about uh, what it's like if you're looking for a one to three month rental of a condo or something like that. Well, Adam is looking for a short term rental and I'm gonna do a whole other video on that. So stay tuned. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video about a Bangkok starter kit and I hope you get over here to Bangkok and start enjoying it soon. Peace everyone.